Wow. This has been a while since I've done a show. So, yeah. Um, oh, hello, folks. Welcome back for I'm the One, the Only. I am a Hobo Tom. And I'm here. Um, I have three things I have to get done. One, a whole bunch of thank yous to give out. I love giving out thank yous to people. Two, time to go over some stuff. And three, a little programming notes. Um, first of all, I know, everyone say hydrate out there. I'm a little fizzy lemonade. I have no idea how the Spanish and armor, swords, and axes managed to do anything here in the state of Florida. Especially in the month, summer months, mainly that of like August. It's brutal out there. I thought I saw a squirrel's tail catch on fire. I don't know. But first of all, you don't want to hear about my complaints. You want to hear some thank yous. And I have a whole list of thank yous to give out. Because people have been pretty cool. Um, I just want to work. Thank you very much, sir. You're right. I just want to work, too. You're working so hard, you get that six count. The Phenom! Not only are you phenomenal, or a Phenom, in Discord, or wherever you sent me something, you're also phenomenal with the air guitar. I am real life. You know what, sir? My real life includes me listening to a briefcase like it's a boombox. See here. I'm going to so butcher this name. Rana Yasha. I think I got that right. You're all about that bass. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass. No trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. Mr. Pro Wrestling Blog, you can crawl right out of here. You're in Kanisha. Barisa? I don't know. 
I scribbled your name. I scribbled your name down. You, sir, just wouldn't buy dirty pen. I can put that on my to-do list right there as I edit it. Probably later. But yes. Now let's talk about some SummerSlam. Uh, mainly this video is kind of old because this was like two weeks ago. Actually, probably three weeks ago now that I think about it. You see, yeah, I was going to get it done next. Yeah. No, is it only a week? Oh, yeah. This is about SummerSlam and what I think of Ric Flair's last match. Oh, boy. Let me go over SummerSlam first. First of all, bravo. Bravo, WWE. That was freaking amazing. SummerSlam did not really disappoint. A um, couple down spots. A lot of good stuff, though. Um, see, let's start off the first match. Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch. I didn't see the pre-show. I don't know if they had any pre-show matches. I think I got home from the gym literally at 7. And it just started. And I think I just was so zonked. I'm just like, you know what? I don't even care about... Oh, no. I know what I had to do that day. I had to go buy stuff. Yeah, that's right. My shopping purposes. Especially for essential items. It's more important than me talking about pro wrestling. But um, I know the main show started off with Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch. Bianca Belair retained her title. I'll tell you what. Becky Lynch's outfit was weird. And I think her outfit just kind of turned me off for the whole match. It just might be a thing for me. I don't know. It just... And there were some instances... Where it seemed botchy, or a couple things. One of them looks like, I mean, beyond, um, what's her face? Becky did legitimately separate her shoulder. And I forget which is worse, dislocation or separation. I think separation is worse. Um, by the way, this shoulder is like feeling like 90% better. Now I have other issues, but that's a whole separate thing. I'll get into that later. Um, overall, it was a good match. Bianca Bella retained her title. was right on that one. Yeah, it was a ham sandwich match, though. I mean, I'll tell you what, though. That end of that match, when Bailey came out with Io Sky and Dakota Kai. Woo! That was definitely an up in that match. Then let's see here. Next match was Logan Paul versus The Miz. I'll tell you what. I heard Logan Paul versus The Miz. I'm like, should I sleep through this? Like, man. Nah. Logan Paul was actually pretty good his last his last round out here in WWE. I'll give him some, some street cred. So I'll tell you what. Logan Paul did not disappoint. I think The Miz said, hey, tranquilo, man. I think Miz had to tell them Logan Paul to cool off, but I'll tell you what, the moves Logan Paul sold, he could hit moves, he could work the crowd. Wow. Uh, yeah, that's from my ooh, fizzy stuff. And my tummy's feeling a lot better, too. Um, Logan Paul made this match. The Miz was good. He did what he was supposed to do. Champ interfered. Champ, Champ was actually the first wrestler I saw that said, took a chair and said, No, I'm not leaving until AJ Styles made leave. That was also good. That was awesome. When, oh, just that time he's like, No, make me ref. Oh, wow. I don't, again, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Uh, Miz tried to nail him with a, some card, some chain on a card. Almost knocked Maurice. Maurice is just Maurice. It's her her surgeon was amazing. But um yeah, this was a good match though. I'll tell you what. Surf and turf match. Now 
I think we had Judgment Day versus the Mysterios. I had Judgment Day going over, and I got one wrong. That's okay. Mysterios went over. It was a good match. It was fun. Edge came out. Who's Jeff? Someone got a concussion. I forget who though. But yeah, um, I don't know. The big thing it was, it was a solid wrestling match. Booked as a street fight. Didn't really follow that. It's gonna be no DQ. Just have like, Rhea Ripley beat everyone up with a chair. Just. Yeah, just you have the numbers advantage. Use it. Edge came out. That was pretty cool. You know what? Overall, solid match. Rey Mysterio did look pissed off about something. He's like, damn it. Not the way I wanted to go. He did a slide, though. Into, um... With a chair. And he looked like he caught his fingers. I could see that happening. That was... Believable. Solid... Uh, Mysterio's go over. Ends that, at least for now. Solid cheeseburger match. Um, I forget what happened next. Oh, I think it was Bobby Lashley versus Theory. Yeah, Bobby Lashley won. Bobby Lashley squashed Theory. Theory looks like a goof. That's about all I can say about that. Ham sandwich match. The Street Profits versus the Usos. Another solid match. I hope this really ends their feud. Uh, Jeff Jarrett. <laughs> well, that's probably why. I mean, Jeff Jarrett was consistent. That's that word, consistent. I mean, he was slow. One. Two. No, no. Two count. Every time, of course, they always said, I should have been three. Count fast. One, two, three. Like, No. Jeff Jarrett was, Jeff Jarrett was, I don't know, he was, he was your basic official in that ring. Um, that was a fun match, too. A little tease between maybe a split between Ford and um, Dawkins. Maybe the Street Profits ran their course. Again, I remember back in 2016 when they were like the Hill Street Profits. So yeah, you never can tell. Usos won. Again, solid cheeseburger match. I don't want to go wrong, but that's okay. Um, let's see here. Pat McAfee versus Happy Corbin. I'll tell you what. I got to give kudos to Pat McAfee. Yes, he was wobbly on the top rope. He hit that, like, Panama Sunrise Lucha Destroyer. I'll tell you what, though. I'll have to give him credit for even trying that stuff. I wouldn't try that stuff. When I went to the top rope, I, I did a moonsault. A Bret Hart elbow drop. So I'll tell you what, you get to that top rope, man, that's a distance down. If he wobbled, I'd be like, screw this, I'm getting off this. Before I kill myself. Corbin was good in this match. I'll tell you what, my stone cold lock came through. Pat and Mac, if you won, cheeseburger match. Um, let's see here. Then we had Liv Morgan versus Ronda Rousey. Liv got ragdolled, man. Um, I got this one wrong, too. I figured Ronda Rousey would win. That, that, was, that was a smosh finish. Liv had... Or Ronda had Liv in an arm bar. Liv stacked Ronda. When the ref went... The ref went one. The ref went two. And right before the ref was going to go three, Liv tapped. But the ref went three, and because the ref was focused on the shoulders of Ronda Rousey, Liv retained. I could see that. That looked plausible. You get a fluke win. Hey, every dog shall, every cat shall meow, every dog shall have his day. Today, it's just time to live life. So Liv Morgan won. Nothing great to write home about. 
am sandwich of a match. I'll tell you what. I'm glad I, I actually did snooze through part of that match too, which was good. And then the main event, Roman Reigns versus Brock Lesnar. I'll tell you what. I mean, Logan Paul versus The Miz easily could have been my match of the night. This was a last man standing match. Wow. That was a fun match. He used the tractor. The Luthes press from the tractor. I thought that, I'm like, let's get on. He did his own introductions. It was great. Um, a good back and forth. Then they started to go bonkers. Uh, they, they wouldn't stay down for the 10 count. Brock Lesnar said, I'm going to use the tractor as a weapon. Lifts up the ring. I don't think I've ever seen that before. I've seen things bump into rings. And I've seen rings explode. I've never seen if anyone lift the ring before. And it was funny because I'm looking and I'm like, oh, so there's the kendo sticks, the toolkit, all the other, other stuff was there. And you're just like, so that's what's underneath the ring. That was cool. To say the least. Um, however, Roman Reigns, uh, Paul Heyman got involved. Paul Heyman ate an F, like, modified, probably heavily modified F5 through a table um, just because he's Paul Heyman like Brock was probably so gentle with him uh, but then because of that distraction Roman Reigns hit him a couple Superman punches a couple belt shots and then just buried him on top of stuff and of course we all now acknowledge Roman Reigns the champion I'll tell you what I'm going to upgrade it because of that use of the tractor that was a surf and turf match. So that was SummerSlam. That was fun. The next night, oh yeah, that's why it's going to do this, was, woo! Ric Flair's last match. And actually, wait, before I get into that, I was five out of eight. Vince is out of the picture. So, I, so I'll say, yeah, I was in the head of one Stephanie McMahon. Levesque. Uh. But then, wow. Ric Flair's last match. I have so many mixed emotions about this. I watched... From what I heard, everything else was a spot fest leading up to this. At a battle royal, the Von Erichs are pretty decent. They had a woman's match. I don't even care about that. But, again, I wanted to see just Ric Flair wrestle for the last time. And I had such a tummy ache. I don't know what I did to my to my system. Don't th I think it was a combination of maybe drinking maybe just a wee bit too much. And just waking up and I'm trying to work. And just, I think, putting my body through the rig rigor mortis stuff that I'll get to later. But, yeah, I saw this match. And... My f first thought was, oh my god. Woo! Ric Flair still kind of has it. It's like, as long as he doesn't do much, he'll be okay. Walking to the ring, I'm like, this is... T uh, Jeff Jarrett had a pretty quick entrance. And his wife was there. That was pretty fun. Um, Jay Lethal is just good. I'm trying to add a quick... Had a kind of a quick run down to the ring. And then we had, woo, Ric Flair in his white robe with a belt underneath a 10 pound, the original 10 pounds of gold, not the 8 pounds of aluminum like in the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. But yeah, um, he took his time. I figured out ah, he's just smoking it. Again, there were a bunch of people there. Um, this whole family, there's so many of them. So many grandkids now to... Uh, Megan Flair was there. I'm actually surprised. Ashley Flair, Charlotte 
Flair wasn't there. Um, only because AJ did do a little stint on Impact for their for their like twenty fifth anniversary special. I figured, you know what? Charlotte really could have been there for her dad's last match. I'm sure Vince would have said, okay. I mean, Mick Foley was there, Cactus Jack, Mankind, Dude Love, whatever iteration of him. Undertaker was there. Bret Hart was there. Um, Karrion Cross was actually there. Scarlett Bordeaux, the one new guy, was also there. So, yeah. Um, I'll tell you what. It was... When Andrade and Jay Lethal, or Andrade versus, or when uh, Andrade and Jeff Jarrett were in the ring, it wasn't bad. Ric Flair got in the ring, started to have a woo-off. And I'm like, he can just barely get that strut down. I'm like, this is just going to be some basic chops. He's not going to take a bump. Um, he did take with the one suplex. And I'm like, oh my god. They just broke an old man in half. I'm just like, just stay down, Rick. But this is, woo! Rick Flair, he's not just going to stay down. I don't, I don't know what it is about Rick. He like can bleed on command. He just enjoys the blade too much. I mean, man, he's 70 years old. He's had a heart issue. You do not want to cut yourself. So if you nick the wrong thing at that age, it's, it's, it's hopefully not a Randy the Ram death in the ring. Or even what happened to Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero like, like cut something major and he, was, he just like passed out from blood loss. Like couldn't stop Eddie from bleeding. That's not good. And then for Ric Flair to get busted open in front of like all his grandkids. That's just, I don't know. And then he ate a DDT. And I thought he just, I thought he got concussed. And he was gassed. <sighs> he didn't look 70 years old. He looked like 90. As he like literally like rolled himself. And I thought he was going to pull, pull a, a crab tree. Darkness crab tree and take a nap. Or hopeful, and hopefully wake up from that nap too. But I'll tell you what, the later part of that match, when he got attacked with the shoe, I'm like, listen, this is this is getting. Uh, I just had to sit back and, and lean back a little bit and say, whoa. Um, Ric Flair eventually did win. He put probably the right way Jeff Jarrett in, into the figure four after he caught, he could barely get the pressed knuckles on. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That's... It may not be the way you want to remember Ric Flair going out. Like even in, at least in Impact, he had some step to him. After his match, he just looked spent. He looked like he just should go home. Just take a nap for 20 hours because he was done yeah I don't care what they're saying about him going to a Chris Rock party oh yeah and Chris Rock was with a different woman not that other woman he was with for SummerSlam he was twice the size of Chris Rock he was with some like hottie I wonder how much she cost but yeah woo Ric Flair won I'll tell you what though the longer that match went the cringier, I guess, is the best word it, it got. Because it got to a point where I'm just like, I don't want to see. I don't even care if it's Ric Flair. I don't want to see anyone die in the ring. I'm like, Jesus, just get the medical staff out there. Get him oxygen. Get him out. Like, he could barely hold that belt. He could barely do the Fargo strut. It was not good. Yeah, that was Ric Flair's final match. Ric Flair won. 
I don't want to get it. I'll be fair and say it's a cheeseburger match. He did take the two bumps. He played himself. And honestly, Andrade, when it was Andrade versus Jay Lethal, that was actually more enjoyable than watching R Ric Flair try to wrestle. And I literally mean try to wrestle. He could do chops. Yeah, the chops are easy. But uh, that's all he could do. And the figure four. Wait, that's all he did. Chops, figure four, and maybe a headlock. Headlock takedown. Jeez. That's cringy. That was a cheeseburger match. So yeah, that's that. That goes on that side. That's done. Major announcement. Just like Ric Flair, I am no longer as young and as spry as I used to be. I don't know what happened weekends ago. Whether it was the food I ate, working for 10 hour shifts, and still doing everything. I'll tell you what, I woke up Sunday so hurting. I and I made a conscious decision and I took a look at my notes which are over there somewhere um, I've made the conscious decision one I'm not getting paid by YouTube YouTube is probably not gonna monetize me um, if mainly because there's way too many restrictions I'm um, selling my copyright strike status from of all places triple mania and triple A. So yeah. That's not good. So that means I can do a lot less live picture and picture streaming with you guys, my YouTube audience that I adore so much. And thank you guys so much for your support over the past I think four four or five years. I think I've been at this for like four years. That's impressive. Again, that's four years. It's probably a long four years. Because COVID-19, there was nothing else to do besides make videos. But yeah, now, I mean, working 10-hour shifts a day from 9 until 7.30, I think, took its toll on me. Working Saturday, then doing stuff. Working Sunday, and then knowing that I had to come back Monday for a 10 hour shift, which I did and got turned to nine and a half hours, and then a little bit on Tuesday. I think on Tuesday, after my shift, I'm just like, I just need to lay down. And I just napped. And I'm just like, you know what? I'm doing too much. I am still, however, gonna put out wrestling content. I'm gonna modify it a little bit. Again, major shows. I will be doing eventually reactions to major shows. I have to f figure out that format a little bit differently, though. That will be coming in a few, uh, another month and 10 days or something like that. So, yeah, in like 40 more days, I'll figure out what I'm doing there. Um, live events. You, my YouTube audience, will still be getting live events for me. And also the Daytona Beach Bump Fight League. Um, what I am going to stop is the week is the daily stuff. It's just got to be too much knowing that I do have to get a normal job or a regular job. So yeah, so there's so much pro wrestling out there. I'd rather focus instead of do everything and not get paid for it. I'd rather focus and do the things that you my YouTube bodies would rather see, and you want to see live stuff. You probably you can catch recaps anywhere. Um, again, Lucha Underground is gone. That was if it's gonna be something fun and different. Yeah, but it's the same thing happening all the time. Uh, WWE fell into that trap of having the same match all the time. So yeah, I want to do something a little bit different, um, something more conducive. I remember, I'm getting old. Um, and working 10-hour shifts, 
takes its toll. Good getting to the gym every day. I have to get in shape. Well, I did lose almost like 10 pounds the past week. I don't think that's the healthiest thing. But yeah, again, and it's the summertime. It's Florida. It's the freaking dog days of floor dog days of summer. Even the squirrels don't want to be out in the Florida sun too long. Um, so what else? Yeah. So it's just not going to be daily stuff all the time. And you will still be getting thank yous from me all the time. So I do appreciate that. And we'll just see how things go from there. Who knows? Um, maybe YouTube will say, no, you can't do anything else but your own original stuff. And that'll be like YouTube. So yeah. Um, the next video... I forget how many is that. Maybe Clash of the Castle. I don't know. Again, we'll see how I feel. Definitely, I'll get you in some some of the race videos because that's fun stuff. Other than that, to thank everyone for. Oh yeah, and, and I'm not seeing a girl. I'm seeing a woman, a beautiful woman. So yeah. Between wrestling, and her, she wins. But yeah. Um, other than that, I would like to heartily thank everyone for watching. And please like, share, comment, subscribe. There's going to be a little bit less content. Um, I have a life now almost. A life? Wow. That's a lot more than most people have. That's okay. I know they're coming back. They had to go to Walmart. They stopped by. We chatted, showed them the house. Gave them gifts. Always give women gifts. Um, take them to some spots in Daytona Beach that are a little bit different. A little bit nicer. And, let's see, where am I going to take them? Definitely the two spots along the river. Riverside. Daytona 1. Maybe drive them around the Tangiers. Take them to Bucky's. I, don't, I wonder if they've ever been to Bucky's. Who knows? Other than that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. And as you can tell, like I'm not really slashing that much. I still think this the shoulder still looks a little bit wonky. Again, I do need that full time job. Cause I'll tell you what. I hate to admit it. I get that next full time job. Like literally, one month. I go see. It. God, I can't believe I'm saying this. I'm gonna go see a doctor. First time I think in like eighteen or nineteen years. Actually, maybe longer. Two thousand and six, four. Put it to ten. Sixteen years since I've seen a doctor. Might be my time. Yeah, all I know is that everything is feeling better. Um, again, when you get older, they say, oh yeah, muscle strain takes four to six weeks. Listen, I remember when I was in college, a muscle strain took like three days. Now it's like six weeks. There's a multiplicative factor there. But again, I'd like to thank everyone for what. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, when I'm 70 years old, I'm never doing a blade job anyway. I couldn't believe that. She's too, even my one friend. Who says, yeah, you do need blood in pro wrestling. Says, that's insane. That's too much. Guy knows AEW does it to start the show and end the show all the time. That's a whole other issue. But again, I want to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. See you guys later. Bye. I'll put this on to make video. Oh, yeah. Cheers and stay hydrated. Hydration is important.